For the AFL world has expressed shock, disbelief and anger after legend Eddie Bett shared a sickening video showing someone yelling racist slurs at children as they played basketball in their yard. We're going to bring in Tony yeah. now because, you know, obviously Tony know Eddie I know well. Eddie. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't really have words for what Eddie has been through. This and is, those kids. This is the stuff we're seeing as well. And, like, we talk about shock, horror, all this kind of stuff. I'm not, I'm not shocked. I'm not shocked that it's happening. Um, I'm actually, I'm more disappointed that people kind of think that this doesn't happen and that this is out of, out of the blue. Like, I, I don't know what you're like, but I haven't talked about this in specifics with you, but every day you walk out of the house, you kind of put the hard hat on. Yeah, all right, I'm going out into the public. The same way a lot of people might go into social media and they go, all right, when I go into social media, it's a war zone. I don't know what I'm going to... I don't know what I'm going to cop. Anything could happen. As a black person in this country, you, you walk out the door and you know you're... Anything, anything could happen mm. based on the colour of your skin, based on who you are as an Aboriginal person. This is in the home. This is in the home, over the fence, and we saw the reaction of the kids running inside. You're telling me they're, they're not going to have a uh, PTSD bridge? No, and I know that feeling in your chest when you're exposed to racism. Like, I know exactly how those little kids would have felt, that burning feeling mm -hmm. in your chest when that, something like that happens. And, you know, I just want to pay tribute to Eddie because oh, he man. is someone who says, I'm not going to walk away from this. This is not going to be the standard I'm going to walk past. I'm going to highlight it. I mean, for someone who has been through everything that he's been through, and then to still say, I would invite this person Keep running to come... up like that? Like, yeah. I just... The strength of that man. I saw him a couple of weeks ago at the launch of his new show, which is really a beautiful show to highlight the strength of Aboriginal kids. Um, you know, that's the work that he does. And, uh, you know, he, he lives for children. He really does so much work for kids. And what makes me so sad about that is, too, if he comes out and he's angry... If he's angry, he's angry with his response, man, right? yeah. we are going to be sitting, well, not, not us, but there are people who will be sitting here going, why is he reacting like that? He's got to be the bigger person. He's had bananas thrown at him. He's yeah. had all this kind of stuff thrown at him and he still fronts up. He wants to extend the olive branch. Yeah. He's always the one who <laughs> is taking the higher ground and he's well within his rights to go, nah, that's enough. Um, we, we would be angry. We would be upset at him if, mm. he, if, if he didn't react in this way. 100%. It's mm. it lose, lose. And the other thing, we aren't even showing what the. We aren't even playing what's what was being said because it's too bad for public mm. consumption. Those kids had to hear it. Yep. Those, it was weaponized against them repeatedly. Repeatedly. Mm. I'm very upset, as yep. you can tell. It's I can't imagine how they are. Yeah. I'm sending my love to you here, yep. Tony. Well said. Preach you too.